All right, I'm gonna do a quick update. I got some other stuff to do. So uh, this is the organic garden, the soil garden. I have a couple tomatoes on here, uh, but I do have some problems. I'll have to take these out. Maybe you guys can tell me. I've been real busy. I haven't had time to research, but you can see this this leaf curl, and this kind of started after the frost, um, the, the little frost that we had that I had to cover these up, and uh, these never recovered. This one, this one's starting to do it real bad. Um, and these two so and they they're obviously stunted if you look I mean it's a huge difference these are in the back these are easily twice as big as some of these and then I have another brandy wine that I was suckering and accidentally pinched off everything oh wait there's one coming up cool I was waiting I was hoping that one uh, one little sucker was gonna come up and it finally did so maybe that one we can save that one and then I've got, uh, there's a brandy wine. This is the aquaponics. All right, so let me just kind of go over. I, I did fix it. That's what it looks like underneath. You can see it's, the wood is darker. It's just kind of stained. It hasn't come, it's actually, it's actually dried to the touch. So it's, it's just a little bit stained from where the water was coming down. Um, but that's fixed. Haven't figured out what to put in here. If you guys got any ideas, um, I'm totally open to like trying new things if something hasn't been tried in aquaponics or I don't know whatever I don't have any I may just do some lettuce but I'm afraid that it's getting too hot now to to even mess with trying to do lettuce the onions all bounce back I had to take all these out but they're starting to bounce back this one's even got a little tomato on it I think these are Jubilee I think I'm looking forward to those I've heard they're good they're really good um, what else these are tumbling tom tomatoes. These were originally over here, and so I moved them over here, and they've got tons of tomatoes on. Celery, all the peppers, cucumbers. We've already harvested two cucumbers off of here. There's another one. That's starting to straighten out a little bit, and it's good. It's curled up um, for a total weight. What was it? 17. 17 ounces was one, and 14 and a half was the other. And I just now took off my first ripe tomato. This is a early girl bush. It's doing really well. It's sprouted up a lot. This is a Cherokee purple, and this is probably the most hideous tomato I've ever seen in my life. It's a, like a fused blossom tomato. Got it from right there. You can see that one's. This one is starting to turn colors too. It's splitting really bad. But that's now we have to weigh this one and see how much it is. Um, but there you go. That's the first tomato. It's May 20, before I say that, let me go ahead and, May 22nd, so May 22nd, first tomato, it's not bad, and we're going to be getting um, a lot more because these are all really coming along, so, uh, there's, that's pretty good size, I don't know if you can see, um, what else to show you, carrots, see the carrots this is a pretty this is a pretty good size one here so um what else broccoli it hadn't really started forming heads yet i don't know what it looks like when it does so I'll let you know when i find out there's the uh, cherry tomatoes looking good jet setter this one is really getting tall now i've just started to i use the to, uh, plant clips and just started clipping it um, on this string now so now instead of going that way we're gonna come this way. Uh, those are doing really good. I switched all those to tumbling toms, and uh, they just took off. And the celebrity tomatoes didn't didn't do anything. I don't know why, but they didn't like it. So uh, there you go. Those are doing good. Let's see if I can get a picture of the fish at all. There's some babies. I actually had a problem, and some of the babies got out. Um, but remarkably, they're, they're, most of them are still alive. I don't know if they're just. Um, haven't been picked off yet by the bigger tilapia, but uh, or not. But I've heard that once they reach two inches um, in length, that they can avoid pretty much all predation. So I don't know if there's any truth to that. I wonder if you can see it all. Oh no, I don't have my uh, underwater. Oh, there's one. Yeah. I don't have my underwater um, thing with me. Give you kind of a look. There's one. Alright, so that's pretty much 
that's a that's a little update for you. I'm not going to make a real long update, but um, just to show you that I, I harvested a, uh, my first tomato. However hideous it is, I'm still going to eat it, and my wife probably will won't partake in this one. She may <laughs> she may have to wait until we get a, a nicer looking one. So, all right, that's an update. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.